When the 2022 draft concluded and every player's name was called, all focus and attention immediately shifted to the following year's draft, one in which would feature one of the greatest prospects of this generation, a young kid from France standing 7 feet 4 inches by the name of Victor Wembanyama. In fact, people have been talking about this young phenom well before the 2022 draft, but now with the upcoming 22-23 season, the media, scouts, and teams could now shift their focus onto this kid and for a handful of teams, begin the tank for Wemby sweepstakes. But how good this kid was actually going to be when it came time to compete against the most talented NBA athletes was another thing. Could this seemingly tall, gangly international prospect really be the future face of the NBA? A superstar, a Hall of Famer in the making, actually live up to the hype? Well, if just his preseason play in his rookie season at the age of 19 is any indication of what to expect from this prodigy, we are in for an incredible future as fans of the NBA with highlight reels like we've never seen before. And so we'll be talking about in this video. As always, if you're new to the channel and you like this type of content, then be sure to subscribe as I will be providing more NBA content like this. Now, let's be real. Some fans have been skeptical about just how good Wemby will actually be in the NBA. Most would agree that he is going to be a fine player, but when a player is labeled the greatest prospect of this generation or the draft pick of this century, it carries new weight to it, where people start becoming a little more wary if this will actually end up being the case. After all, guys like Andrew Wiggins, Ben Simmons, Zion Williamson, even Kate Cunningham were likened to the greatest prospects since LeBron James, future generational talents. And while that might still end up being the case for some of them, it's pretty clear to see that none of these will actually be future top 10 all-time NBA level players. Naturally, some of us run to the judgment on whether that will actually be the case with Victor as we have been led down this path before. And hey, even in Wemby's first summer league game, it was a little questionable about whether this kid was going to be one of the greatest prospects since LeBron. That ends up just underwhelming. But here is what people fail to understand about competing in something like Summer League. 90% of the guys on Summer League rosters are trying to showcase what they can and should be doing in the NBA, fighting for roster spots, trying to get scouts' attention. And a roster that is quickly put together with little practice and training before they go out there and start playing in games. Going into the preseason, Players have a full training camp, team bonding activities to get to know each other and familiarize themselves with the system and schemes for which the coaching staff is trying to execute. And watching Wemby in just his first preseason play, which yes, I'm aware you have to add that it's just a preseason qualifier, but the qualifier aside, the way this man plays the game of basketball is just unfair. Players his size should not be able to move in the manner that he does. For a player at 7'4", for a lack of a better word, scrawny, to be this fluid, agile, with speed and quickness, and possess the kind of footwork he does is nothing short of remarkable. At his height, we all knew he was going to be a great rim protector, someone that could crash the boards as well, but to be able to shoot, handle the ball, have the court vision of a point guard is truly incredible. Let's take a look at some of these plays from one of the Spurs' recent preseason games. Again, the defense, the rim protection, we all knew it was going to be there. But seeing this possession in which he's actually able to get out to the perimeter, and despite the quick step of his opponent, is still able to have the lateral quickness to stay on his man and the timing to reject the shot. Absolutely incredible. It not only makes him a defensive threat on the inside, but a player that can provide help defense in guarding the perimeter as well. Or how about this play on the fast break where Wemby literally gets the ball just in front of the three-point line, doesn't even have to take another dribble, Euro steps his way into a dunk. Again, the body control for someone of his size is astounding. Then there is also this play where Wemby brings the ball up, handling it like a guard, using a screen to roll to the basket, and even though the pass was a little off target, he grabs it, seemingly appears to be too far away from the basket where you think he'll have to come down, take a dribble, and put it back up again, but no, he extends it into a throwdown dunk, using that length and control to turn this into an incredible pick and roll finish. The man is long, the wingspan so vast that he makes a dunk like this look like another day in the park, throwing it down in the face of his opponent. Between mid-range jumpers, beating his man off the dribble, using him in the pick and pop to knock down a three, I mean, this guy is the real deal. And yes, I'm fully aware this is probably a candidate for the biggest overreaction of the preseason, but you can't sit there and tell me that Wimby and what he's doing on the court, regardless of it being in the preseason, for a 19-year-old is nothing short of phenomenal. We didn't see this type of play and draw-dropping performances from players like Andrew Wiggins, Ben Simmons, or Zion Williamson, because he was injured, in their first preseason after being one of the most hyped prospects in their class. But you know who we did see this type of head-turning, setting himself apart from the competition type performance in their first preseason entering the league? That's right, 
LeBron James, who a lot of people wondered if he would be able to live up to the hype coming out of high school, whether he would be able to play and compete at the highest level versus a bunch of teenage prepubescent high schoolers, and right away coming into that stadium, showing up the way that he did on the court, impacting the game in so many different ways. People knew that he was going to be legit, a force to reckon with, and would ultimately become one of the greatest players to ever play the game of basketball. Now, we're getting ahead of ourselves here with Wimbanyama. Who knows if he's actually going to be able to sustain this kind of play night in and night out with his frame and stature. A player of his size and physique is often susceptible to injuries, and even as great as a player is or can be, their career can be cut short in an instant just from injuries. That's what makes guys like LeBron, Kobe, or MJ so special was their longevity and sustained success year after year. And while we don't know what the future will look like for Wemby just yet, all I can say is it's going to be one of the most exciting times to be alive and watching the NBA while this man is healthy and in the league. A generational talent that is going to alter the trajectory of this already great franchise in the San Antonio Spurs. And of course, I can't help but think if only the Bulls had hit that 1.8% chance of landing the number one pick to get this guy. Some things just aren't meant to be though. All I know is I'll be watching a lot of Spurs games this season. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. As always, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.